Hello, this is Craig Morris from Petite Planète, and I wanted to make a quick video of uh, the working environment I have just in case there's anyone else out there who is a translator and uses WordFast and Dragon Dictate and would like to know what that looks like on a MacBook now that the VBA, the Visual Basic functions have been returned to Office 2011. Um, so I'm going to go down here and uh, basically show you I have this new MacBook, MacBook Pro. Um, it has 8 gigabytes of RAM, um, has an SSD drive. It's really should be a beauty of a machine. Um, just to show you how quickly things go here, you can see that Microsoft Word is off and I'm going to switch it on there and you'll see that it's pretty much instantaneously open. And so now to show you how my work environment looks, I'm going to just open up a file. We're going to choose this baby. Uh, also opens up pretty quickly. Everything seems to be looking good. Now the first thing you'll notice is that WordFast isn't there. Uh, if you're used to working on, a, on a, a Windows machine, this will surprise you. You actually have to go over here under Tools and Add-ins and activate the thing every time you open an instance of Word. Uh, this is apparently what is in the manual for WordFast as well. Now I've only had this set up for um, two days now, so if I say anything that's wrong, please feel free to comment uh, below. I'll be happy to, uh, to learn some new things. Um, so now that seems to be open, and I'm going to go over here now and uh, show you how slow WordFast is before I show you how slow Dragon is. Uh, you can see that it actually took a few seconds for that to open. And if I now hit this button, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to use the um, keyboard combinations. I'll use the, uh, the cursor right now just so you can see what I'm doing better. So it's asking me if I want to switch to normal view. That's fine. We'll go to normal view. And look how long it takes for this thing to open up. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to go down here, and you'll see that this red uh, stop sign, uh, the red light, will turn into a green light. And at that point, everything that I say will be dictated. So check it out. China about to launch carbon emissions trading. Okay, I'm going to make sure that I turn off Dragon in between my translation segments. Now, one thing that you will have just noticed is that um, it types this stuff in probably slower than I can type, and I'm a two-finger typist, so this is pretty disastrous. Um, now I have the problem that I have all kinds of uh, key combinations that I would use to go to the next segment or to use placeables and all the rest and none of this is a problem on Windows. On Windows I can hit different buttons and I can go up here for instance and say okay that's a fine translation uh, and just go to the next one. Uh, again don't worry about my particular translation here I'm just trying to show you uh, what the software looks like. Uh, notice that I've hit the button the cursor's not blinking and it's taking forever to go to the next segment. So. I finally got the next segment open. Now I'm going to go down here and switch the mic on again and, and try to translate this. So let's see how it works. CAP, in the course of its 12th five hyphen year plan, comma, the CAP people, CAP Republic of China. is about to launch a market hyphen based framework for its national carbon emissions comma probably as emission rights for greenhouse gases period select people the cap people apostrophe s okay that's probably not the best uh, 
translation you've ever seen, and I didn't uh, bother with a mission instead of e mission, uh, but you can see that um, it's fairly accurate. Uh, I would have to go over here and change this because of our own style rules. Um, we would have to change that to make it uh, written out because it's 1 to 12 we write out. But my main problem is not so much the accuracy or the minor mistakes and all the rest. It's this nonsense at the beginning. I have a space that I have to get rid of and I have to do this for every segment. If I don't want to have it in there, I actually have to use a command uh, to leave out the leading um, the leading space. I think it's uh, no leading space or something like that. You'd have to say that at the beginning of every sentence. Now there is an option, and if I go up here and move to the next segment, you'll see. And again, I believe I've hit the button, and uh, we're waiting on the computer to respond. Hello. Maybe I didn't hit it. Ah, yes I did. Okay, eh, it takes kind of too long. Um, now, let's just try it again and see what happens. Purge cache. Cap, in July 2010, comma, China Cap Daily reported on the unofficial plans, period. Okay, well, the good thing about uh, the slow speed of Dragon is that you can actually do some really awesome uh, proofreading while you're watching the thing uh, type it in. Um, what I did was I started off this particular sentence with the command purge cache, um, which does get rid of that, uh, of that uh, leading space at the beginning. So I could start off every sentence with purge cache cap and then I would uh, be ready to go. Um, still it seems a bit tedious sitting there watching that uh, go on like that. Um, I have just used the keyboard command to go to the next uh, segment and that should be here any day now. Yes, in fact it is. Now those of you who use translation memory software will know that sometimes you just want to copy the source in. So just for fun I'll do that here and uh, I might do it here just so that I don't have to retype this person's name which uh, is the kind of thing I would not spell correctly and we'll go ahead and, and leave ND, NDRC in there as well. And now let's uh, see how this works. Purge cache. The resolution was apparently reached at a meeting directed by comma director of the development and reform commission spacebar select reform no caps reform Select Perform, Reform. Okay, and here uh, we do have the problem that this double space ended up down there. Um, so again, if you're used to using um, Dragon Naturally Speaking on a Windows machine, if you're used to using WordFast on a Windows machine, I use it with uh, with Office 2010. Um, you will immediately be very frustrated with this. Um, all of this has cost me quite a bit of money, and apparently I'm not going to have the patience to use the MacBook that I bought three days ago uh, for my work. And that's a big disappointment. I now have a very expensive iBrick.